Hi, welcome to Shendra's Engineering Tutorials. Signal analysis and making use of the properties of uh, some transformations will be very helpful while uh, evaluating some signals, some making use of some properties. One of such important property from Fourier transforms. It's shifting property, a very useful property. Stay with me, What? let's see what happens with that property. And uh, from the beginning, what is a Fourier transform? X of t will be given. The time domain signal x of uh, t will be given. The Fourier transform of this one will be, guys, what it is? It's uh, x of t is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega t, the time function 2 pi omega 2 pi f will be here, and uh, integrated from negative infinity to positive infinity with respect to what? dt t with respect to t, and so we have t, isn't it? And that will give us what whatever the process that will give us the notation x of omega right guys okay, see it's a x of t here the integration negative infinity to positive infinity x of t e rise to minus j omega t and so it's a the notation will be this one here this one you need to focus on this one to understand the shifting property it's omega and so it's this over here Guys, the beginner, please focus on that green, rounded with the green. Okay. So if this is the case, what is the Fourier transform of uh, Fourier transform of x of t multiplied with exponential e rise to minus j omega not t? Some change. Okay. So that we don't get confused with this omega and omega not a small change in the subscript. And subscript is added over here. So what will be this one? So how to evaluate so the same procedure? X of t into e raised to minus j omega not t. The function, the given function, is completely multiplied with e raised to minus j omega t. And what? Integrated with from minus infinity to plus infinity with respect to t, isn't it? This one, t. And uh, so, what is the simplification? It's an integration as it is, as it is. It's a negative infinity to positive infinity, uh, x of t, guys, x of t, and uh, this one exponential also, and minus j, guys, minus is taken out, so it will be omega. It may be like uh, not. It's may it may be negative has come out, so we have positive omega. Even this negative has come out. It's a plus omega not into t dt okay now now you have to make use of common sense over here we have reached to the shifting property now this we can conclude something as can you see this one it's same as it is it's a negative integration negative infinity to positive infinity it's as it is x of t x of t as it is exponential rise to minus j here yeah here it's minus j it's as it is t over that side it's as it is dt even it's same but what is this one so what transformation takes it takes in the next step right it's as it is see nothing no change everything is fine so what the next is if it's simply omega it's x of omega so now in this case uh, it's same minus j over this side t over that side minus j over this side t over that side so this could be concluded this can be x of uh, omega plus omega not okay so this is the uh, this is the final reduction shifting property what it says if the time domain signal is multiplied with an exponential this is the time domain signal multiplied with e raised to minus j omega not isn't it if the time domain signal is multiplied with exponential e rise to minus j omega naught t there will be a shift in the frequency multiplying exponential in the time domain will result in shift in the frequency domain okay this is a shifting property so what it is what it is what do we conclude so why where do we make use of this one where do we make use of uh, this shifting property <coughs> so what the shifting property says 
if this is multiplied if the given function is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega i mean something exponential and if the pro, uh, fourier transform of that signal has to be evaluated just evaluate the fourier transform of the given function x of t and plug in the value the function omega plus omega not if it's negative and uh, omega minus omega not if it's positive wherever we come across omega in the fourier transform of this one that's the simplification in shifting property okay making use of this property let's see some standard functions the fourier transform of standard functions what will be the fourier transform of uh, this one cos omega not t cos omega not t um, so the same like uh, cos omega not t is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega t and integrated from positive i mean negative infinity to positive infinity with respect to t and so we have dt isn't it and uh, we cannot carry on like this we have to transform this to its euler's identity how that is written here it's uh, e rise to j omega not t plus e rise to minus j omega not t whole by 2 that i am writing it outside it should it should be upon 2 okay so it's a constant nothing to do inside the integration so i took it out outside integral minus infinity to plus infinity and the entire given function is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega t dt okay so 1 by 2 as it is i'm closing the bracket here we need to this one this happens over here what this isn't it half exists for the entire expression and here guys are uh, making use of linearity property this into this entire integration plus this into this the entire integration okay so that's that will be looking like this minus infinity to plus infinity e rise to j omega not t multiplied with this one e rise to minus j omega t and uh, dt plus for this one now the second time integral minus infinity to plus infinity e rise to minus j omega not t into e rise to minus j omega t dt okay so this one here closing the bracket over here so simplification of that side please watch carefully uh, it's a uh, Fourier transform of this function is equal to half as it is guys uh, here it's a uh, integral negative infinity to positive infinity exponential negative as common okay minus of uh, negative as common minus even j as common and uh, negative has come out so that will be omega minus omega not into t because uh, negative has come out over here plus dt i mean dt plus integral minus infinity to positive infinity exponential negative again negative taking out negative it's a j also taken out as common we'll be having omega plus omega not into t dt and uh, bracket over here guys uh, now we have almost come to this one okay so what was that concluded here the same thing can you see the same same transformations over here minus j omega plus omega not that was written like uh, x oh, x of omega plus omega not now this could be reduced to guys believe me 1 by 2 as it is from here this could be reduced to um, 2 pi del of this one omega minus omega not plus once again that will be 2 pi del of omega plus omega not now believe me that's the final okay that isn't the final 2 gets cancelled on either side i mean in the numerator and denominator confused yeah guys come over here uh, how how this reduction was obtained how this reduction is obtained uh, please focus up uh, this reduction this one from here how this this how did we get that one it's like uh, guys can we say that this here we have one into this thing 
of course and also one into this thing this it's multiplied with one one is multiplied with this function can we say that of course what did i say what was that did i say what statement did i stay did i say when i was explaining this one if you have a function multiplied with exponential evaluate the fourier transform of this one and plug it evaluate the fourier transform of this one that we will have x of omega and wherever we find omega that is plugged in with omega plus omega naught if it's negative and this same omega is plugged in with omega minus omega naught if it this is positive isn't it so the same thing has happened over here uh, this function is multiplied this function now here x of t is 1 right this function is multiplied with this function x of t which is equal to 1 is multiplied with e raised to minus j and that one so i need to evaluate the fourier transform of this one what was that fourier transform in my previous video i have uh, discussed something about duality property and in that video i have evaluated the fourier transform of uh, one that was what did we get over here fourier transform of one making use of duality property we had 2 pi del omega okay now the fourier transform of this one because this function is multiplied with exponential now wherever i find wherever we come across omega that should be plugged in with the, over here it's a yeah for a transform of this one it's a 2 pi del of omega and this function x of t which is equal to 1 is multiplied with this one so we have omega minus omega not plugged in in place of omega here and the same way here this function x of t equal to 1 over here this is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega plus omega naught similar to this one and I evaluated the Fourier transform of x of t which is 1 in this case my Fourier transform of uh, 1 is uh, this one 2 pi omega del of omega making use of duality property and uh, this function is multiplied with this one so I have just simply plugged in with this one in place of omega so this is the um, Fourier transform of the cos function okay now that this got arise from the duality property for a transform of 1 is equal to 2 pi del omega making use of that impulse function making use of duality property so this is in the final reduction over here uh, for a transform of uh, cos omega naught t will be equal to 2 gets cancelled and we can take out pi also some authors they leave it like that okay so you can take out pi also as common and uh, it's a uh, omega plus omega naught plus del of omega minus omega naught okay so i just took out uh, uh, two is cancelled on in the numerator and denominator and taking out pi as common we'll be having the fourier transform of that one make a note please now what will be the fourier transform of sine omega t sine omega naught t guys uh, straight away the sine omega naught t is written in Euler's identity and then simplified isn't it so Euler's identity e raised to j omega naught t minus e raised to minus j omega naught t by 2j i am writing it outside because this has got nothing to do inside the integration integral minus infinity to plus infinity and this whole function is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega t dt okay so simplifying 1 by 2j as it is guys are multiplied right so taking out integral minus infinity to plus infinity writing here itself directly multiplied with this one this should be multiplied right so taking out exponential as common minus uh, j as common from here and here that gives us negative has come out so it will be omega minus omega naught into t dt plus again making use of linearity property this could be this integration will be applicable for both the terms right so integral minus infinity to plus infinity taking out exponential again guys it's a negative isn't it we have a negative it's a negative okay so i'm sorry i've done a mistake i've corrected here itself it's a negative it's a negative okay so taking out exponential as common and uh, minus j also as common will be having omega plus omega not t d t so how to proceed ahead we can it can be thought that it's uh, x of t being 1 1 is multiplied with this one even over here x of t 
x of t equal to 1 x of t is multiplied over here 1 into we can th think for that okay this has to be closed right or else someone will be asking what did you do with that yeah that is closed over here and here x of t is multiplied with e raised to minus j omega plus omega naught t that got reduced to this one in the sense we have to evaluate the Fourier transform of x of t now here in this case the x of t is 1 and it was done using duality property the Fourier transform of 1 was found out to be what was that Fourier transform of 1 was found out to be 2 pi del omega right this was done I'll provide you the link in the description box please catch it up it's uh, the Fourier transform of 1 that one now Fourier transform of 1 is that so in that case wherever we find the omega that has to be plugged in with this isn't it that was done wherever this one wherever we find this omega wherever in the uh, in the la the Fourier transform of this one omega is plugged in with omega minus omega naught in the same way like uh, Fourier we have evaluated the Fourier transform of this one that to be this and this says this this says wherever we have omega over here that should be plugged in with this and for the first term guys writing over that side okay uh, 1 by 2j as it is and uh, the Fourier transform of this one is found out to be 2 pi del omega but we need to plug in with this one that gives us omega minus omega naught for the first term in the same way the Fourier transform of this one is uh, we have a negative here isn't it minus of Fourier transform of this one making use of duality property it was this so it's a 2 pi del of omega but that omega is to be plugged in with this one omega plus omega naught as this is the one okay so still it's simplified in some um, it's still um, further simplified as a it's a 2 gets cancelled in the numerator and in the denominator isn't it and uh, 1 upon j that could be written as minus j 1 by j 1 by j that could be written as minus j this minus and this minus gets cancelled and so we have uh, which is Fourier transform for sine omega naught t is equal to what's that we have a minus j okay this could be written as minus j but a small simplification minus j into uh, pi del of omega plus omega naught minus pi del of omega minus omega naught that is a very important simplification making use of a shifting property in Fourier transforms so hope you understood the analysis okay so a lot of application here this has got a lot of applications hope you understood the analysis the discussions if you find it useful support me with your valuable share and a subscription thank you for watching